well-deserved standing ovation. Magical. Hey everybody, Heidi Watney here. Welcome to the show.
MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Texas Rangers and the Cleveland Indians. Digging in, Shinsu Chu. He will lead this one off today. The left fielder, Shinsu Chu. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. The third base. So Elvis Andres the next to bat as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. McKenzie has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play doesn't give up a lot of hits doesn't walk very many batters and when you do that it's a good recipe for success. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field and that is off the wall. And they've really got something going here runners at second and third to start the inning. Adam third, the center fielder number 13. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force play is now in order. Danny Santana stands in as he looks at ball one here. When you're hitting in a situation like this you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. And the run will score as the Rangers strike first to lead it 1 0. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he misses low with it, two and oh. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Now the two one pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder, Jose. Now the pitch. Ramirez. Ball, that pitch is out. The 1 1 home. Is looked at for ball number two. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Tyler Naquin will be next. 
And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Stepping up to the plate, Tyler Naquin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line towards center field. Gallo is right there, one down. Coming to the plate now, Francisco Lindor. Not your job. Francisco Lindor. First delivery to him on the way. That's a strike to throw down. He's right there on a perfect throw by Chirinos. Lyle steps into his windup. Coming at him with the 0-1. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Now the pitch. High and deep to right. Naquin's going back. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. Oh, what happened? He can't make the play. The tag comes down, and they're going to get him at third. Aggressive base running there following some shoddy defensive play, but it doesn't work out for him. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. A swing and a ground ball to third, but that'll get foul. It's 0 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. Fouled off. The windup and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. Hey, obviously, he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one, slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. That misses, and we're even at two and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in now, Fran Will Reyes. The designated hitter, Rugby. First delivery to him on the way. Liner toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. That is it. The second baseman, Daniel. Daniel Murphy steps in now. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. And he'll be tagged out at third base on a heady play. And he'll get in there with a hustle double. Standing in, Carlos Santana. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. Popped high in the air. Odor has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready now, Pablo Sandoval. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Pablo Sandoval. He's set. Here it comes. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. You know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches. And he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. That count now at two and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. 
Santana is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. And he'll start out there half the of the third, top of the order to follow. Here comes the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Digging in to try it again. Shinsu Chu. He reached on a single in his first try. In the dirt. Forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Now the 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Striding in once again, Elvis Andrews. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Chirinos, the runner at second with one away. 2 0 now. Two ball, no strike. And he finds the black here with a curveball, 2 and 1. That is a pro pitch right there. 2 0 curveball for a strike. Make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. Two balls and two strikes now. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first, two down. So two are gone here in the Rangers' third, and that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Gallo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Smoke toward the hole. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher, Alex. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. 0-2. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. Batting up. The center fielder. Greg. At the plate, Greg Allen. Allen. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And a good throw gets him one gone. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch. One out and a runner on second base. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup. Adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard row 17 inches. Another one two delivery. Pulled toward right center field. 
Santana is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now in the box, Tyler Naquin hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. The 0 1 pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Naquin is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. At the plate, Danny Santana. Leading off with the Ranger, the right fielder. First pitch coming. Here it is. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Nope, upstairs. Ball two. You got two balls, one strike. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Stepping in now, Ronald Guzman. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit sharply on the ground. The tag, and he is out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Looped out towards short, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Hey, we're still in the early stage of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now at the plate, Fran Reyes, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The wind up and the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. But the catcher quickly slaps the tag on him here for the second out. At the plate, Daniel Murphy reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Now that first base Here's Carlos Santana now. Rocket to third. In there, a base hit. The third baseman, number 48, Pablo. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. At the plate now, Alex Avila. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Yeah. 
So here's the left-handed bat of Rudnit Odor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The second baseman. Rudnit. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes. Count is one and two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Odor is retired, and there's one away. Now, now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. Robinson. And maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. Popped him up. And Santana able to stay with it here for route number two. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Greg Allen. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Gallo will back up and put this away for a long out number one. Digging in once again, Jose Ramirez, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. 1-0 and oh the count. A 2-0 count to the Indians' left fielder. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. 3-0 and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one the count now. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And it's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. The right fielder, number 30, Tyler. So here's Tyler Naquin. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring. Ready once again, Elvis Andrews. He's one for two in this one. The third base Bouncer to the left side. Up with it there is Sandoval. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now with the plate, Joey Gallo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Name it a game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. He loses him on ball four. Stepping up now, Danny Santana. He hit a sack fly earlier. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. 
Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Right there at the belt. One and two now. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. In the last at bat, that breaking ball was really up in the zone. Not a good spot for a pitcher to throw the off speed pitch. If he wants to come back and throw that in this at bat, he better get it down below the knees. 2 0 now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Allen will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Second baseman, Daniel. Miles gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Line toward the alley and left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So that hit extends the inning for Carlos Santana. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So now Carlos Santana. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit and two tries for him so far. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. The tag's there from Torinos. He is out at the plate. In now, Ronald Guzman. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Allen is there, and he has it for the first out. Settling in now, Jose Iglesias. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now here it comes. Up high, two and one now. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Now that second base. Ruben O'Doul. Phil Maton 
Comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Here's Rognit Odor now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Looks at a slider in there, one and one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he one uses. Ball, well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Now Odor turns on one and sends it to deep right. Gone! A two run shot that gives them the lead. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 and 1 to Chirinos. One ball, one strike. And that sinking fastball didn't sink, it stayed high. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and two now. And the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Shinsu Chu. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Owen won the count. From the belt, the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1 and 2. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Shinsu Chu goes down for out number two in the top half. Elvis Andrews is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Allen is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Into the box, Pablo Sandoval. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Remains two and two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Chirinos corrals it, and the throw is there to record the first out. Ready for another chance? Alex Avila. He was a ground out victim last time up. Liner toward right center. Gallo will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Greg Allen 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Up next to Cleveland, the left fielder, Huntsman, Rob Perez. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. To the plate now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Lyles comes set. Here it is on 0-2. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. This is well struck, high and deep toward the left field corner. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Allen is on his way home. The relay. And he's back into second here safely. The right fielder, number 30, Tyler Naquin. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Shoots this one over to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 5-4 to four game. Now back, not good stop. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Man it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2 multiple ways up down in and out throw the breaking ball a lot of different ways to get guys out. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three. Here's Joey Gallo now. It was a walk in his last trip. The center fielder, Joey Gallo. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Oliver Perez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Perez is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Nope. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1 and 2. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0 2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Hard hit to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Stepping in, Danny Santana. No hits to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. That evens it up. One and one. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. He throws him on the fastball there. Danny Santana becomes the first out of the inning.
from the stretch. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. As a look, now the pitch. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. Hunter Wood enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Now batting the second base. So striding in, Rupnet Odor. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Six runs, seven hits. And no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And it's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Fouled away. To two balls and two strikes now. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1-2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Leading off the inning, Fran Reyes. And they'll need him to get something going here. Yohander Mendez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 74, Yohander Mendez. First pitch coming, here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Smoke toward third. Andrus fields it cleanly, throws in time, and that's out number one. Digging in, Daniel Murphy, two for three with a double on his line so far. Jordan Luplo will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Pinch hitting for the Indians. Number eight, Jordan. There's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Popped him up. Andres is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, Carlos Santana is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Into right field. That's a base hit. The 
third baseman, number 48. Pablo. So now to the plate, Pablo Sandoval. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. A runner on first with two away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gallo is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring up the catcher Robinson Chirinos the catcher Robinson Chirinos ready with the first pitch here it comes now a bouncing ball headed for Sandoval at third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So coming to the plate, Shinsu Chu. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First delivery to him on the way. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit hard, but right into the shift. Oh, a diving stop by Santana. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the, the inning. Digging in, Elvis. Elvis Andrews. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hard hit at third. Throw to first to get him easily, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Alex Avila hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Rymel Tapia will come on as a pinch hitter. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Indians. Number 15, Rival. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. The center fielder, number 24, Greg Allen. Stepping in now, Greg Allen. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Sent on the ground out to second. To Iglesias for one. Back to first. A ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Jose Ramirez. Marcus Evans takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. And now pitch on the way. And he commits to the pitch inside and he definitely went around. That's strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Last strike now for Cleveland. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Hard hit ball towards the hole, and he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, you don't see a closer finish better than that very often. 
only needed four pitches to slam the door in their face and salt this game away for his guys. A one run game six to five the final today. The Texas Rangers came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jordan Lyles earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First.